Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, this is Ron Runner. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to go to Shargao and how to enjoy. So, obviously, I need to not miss the airport at this time. Uh, we have a cheaper way to go to Shargao. So we took the Via Cebu. Uh, may jung mahaba lang ang layover sa Cebu. However, darating ka rin naman. And the price is just about half difference. So, makakatipid ka ng malaki-laki. Right? So, as you can see right now, this is Shigao Airport. Napakalit lang siya. But, obviously, it's very clean. So, pagdating mo pa lang dyan, meron ka na tagad uh, photo opportunity. And after that, uh, you need to ride a shuttle bus going to your apartment kung saan ka man nakabook or a hotel or inn. Uh, the fare was 300 pesos to the shuttle bus, a shuttle van. And then here we are now sa apartment na narent namin. This is only 1,500 pesos. Malinis naman. Uh, okay na para sa aming dalawa. Uh, comfortable. Meron siyang heater. Uh, you can also cook. Uh, because meron siyang mga gamit sa kusina. Uh, you can also ask the caretaker na mag ano sa ng tubig and then yun uh, okay siya okay siya actually and then during this time nag -pre prepare na kami for our try island tour this was supposed to be a second day tour kaya lang we decided to do it uh, today because we are planning to go to Kagendi or after three days. So now we are going to the uh, travel agent. Sinundo pala kami. So as you can see, and your prices ng Tri Island tour. So it varies. If you want to do uh, three or more islands, that would be more expensive. I mean, more pricey. So we took the Tri Island, which is three islands. The uh, Naked Island, the Guyam Island, and uh, the Daku Island. So that it will be a whole day tour for 1,500 pesos. But there is an option if you want to do it cheaper. So, all right, so we are ready to go. So, this is the meeting place for the uh, Tri Island tour. So, as you can see, my, the White Sand Beach is already very visible. And then, lang sa my tourism department building dyan pa lang pwede ka na maligo eh, actually but there is a better place to do it so yun nga we're gonna do try island tour so this is your waiting area remember when I told you that you can do it cheaper so if you're a group of three, five or more so hindi na kayo dapat dumaan sa tour guide or tour agency diretso na kayo dito sa tourism building office and then mag uh, register kayo dyan it's 2,000 pesos per boat so it's a lot cheaper and then you don't have to wait too long so nangyari kasi kami sa amin kasi we, we became joiners and we paid 3,000 for just the two of us like I said, if you want to rent the whole boat uh, up to 10, pe 10 people, then it will be just 2,000 pesos. Three islands then. Okay, and then we are ready to go. We are just about to board 
the bangka or the uh, pump boat. Ayan, maraming foreigners na kasama namin. So, I think half of us are foreigners. Ito nga lang is you have to use a modified ladder with a handle nagawa rin nila <laughs> very innovative but you have to be careful especially when you don't know how to swim kasi pag nahulog ka dyan well it's not that deep so yun yung pinakapantalan niya so ayan So in the boat, we have life jackets. We have the tour guide from the uh, tra tour agency. Uh, and then we also have, uh, we were also asked if we wanted to rent a snorkel apparatus. So we were renting. Um, so there, you have to grab one life jacket for safety purposes. Okay. Ayan, yung nakatayo na yan is the tour guide. So he knows the island very well. He was trying to explain to us uh, how and gaano kami katagal every island. So the second island which is Daku Island is the biggest island. Doon kami magla-lunch between the hours of 11 and till 1, 1 30 in the afternoon and then we proceed to the third island uh, and then yung nag offer siya ng snorkel rent which is 150 pesos and then we started the sailing another photo opportunity for all of us and damning boats na bumabiyahe in and out and you can see the crystal clear water so apart from the tour guide ang kasama namin is isang captain of the boat and then yung assistant niya so you don't have to worry if you don't know how to swim meron naman left jacket All you need to do is just have fun. There you go. And all of us are required to wear that life jacket. So by the way, during this time, medyo gloomy yung clouds, uh, sky. It's kind of a not so very good weather. However, for me it's better because then it, I don't have to get sunburns. So we are heading to our first island, which is the Naked Island. So I don't know why they call it Naked Island, but you will see why. There you go. So it's, well, it's similar to Kamigin, uh, White Island. However, White Island in Kamigin only appears when it's low tide. So here we enjoyed swimming. Uh, the sand was very fine. Maputing Maputisha. And then just near the seashore is blue water. As you can see. Yan, ang daming nag-tour, no? Maraming tao. Uh, hindi siya kalaki ang island. Sin walang nakatira doon, walang bahay, wala lahat. That's why maybe they call it Naked Island because there's nothing in there except white sands. So, near that, uh, nag-side trip kami to do snorkeling because 
that area there was full of coral. Unfortunately, I did not brought with, bring with me uh, yung ano ng camera ko. So I did not took underwater clips or videos. But it was nice. I suggest you rent a a uh, snorkeling set or you bring for yourself. Mura lang naman siya. Sa shabby. There you go. That's me with the goggles and the snorkel breathing apparatus. It's so much fun, guys. Trust me. I've been to Kamigin and other places. I would say that if you like beaches and other stuff to do, it's Shargao. Good thing about Shargao is that hindi lang beaches, marami siyang pwedeng puntahan. Meron siyang underwater cave, and meron siyang falls. Uh, nightlife is very nice. So, we stayed there for an hour and then we headed now to our second island, which is Okay, before that, see, I, I was trying to show you how clear the water is. How fine the sand, the white sands are. So, you will definitely feel very excited about it. So, ito na yung Daku Island, which is... No, I'm sorry. This is, rather, this is Guyam Island. This is the biggest island of the itinerary, but it's the best island there is for me. So there are cottages there to rent. Kung if you want to do it DIY with the boat, kaya lang kami kasi cover na sa sa package namin yung lunch and cottages. So what we did was just really, really swimming, took pictures. Uh, also, we have a human drone. Local people here. I nago offer sila to take your camera and take videos and pictures of you. Ang galing nila. So, may human drone. So, we stayed here for about two hours and a half. Ayan. Meron din silang mga for rent na mga gliding. I don't know. What is that called? So, it's lunch time. So your lunch namin is prepared really, really nice. So my design shop is like a small gas board or in our layman's local term, uh, boodle, boodle fight. So that's a picture opportunity for you. So the food was consists of rice of course uh, you have fruits you have seafoods like fish clams shells etc and some barbecue so we enjoyed it so much and then we had beverages as well I was so full because the food was too many for just 19 of us. Yeah, we were actually 19, I just recalled. We were 19 all together. But the food was like for 30 people. 
All right, then after that, we are heading to the last and final island. As you can see, the weather was not that good. So this is Daku Island. So the people here, especially the ones that were there with the boat, the locals, they are very helpful, they are very friendly. You can ask as many questions as you wanted to ask. They will not hesitate to give the right answer. And Shargao in general is a very safe place, I believe. We stay there overnight uh, outside. Ayana, this is, oh, this is Guyan. I'm sorry, uh, the second island was Daku Island, and now we are in Guyan, the last island. I mentioned to you about the uh, the human drone. This is how they do it. I was told about it. And then there's a lot. It's uh, there's a there's a place where parang ano siya yung lake on the back side of the island. May mga ano siya yan. Uh, like coral, corals, mga uh, bato-bato. You can even see a lot of shells. And dabing foreigners dito, guys. Uh, in their swimsuits, so it's really nice. The same with the other two islands, Napagaganda, white sand, clear water, bluish, co blue colored water. A perfect photo opportunities for you guys. So, we just finished the trial and tour. Pabalik na tayo dun sa sa where we started all, it was a tourism building. So we really had so much fun. I would say na, na it is way better than the, the Kamigan Tour Island. So for our dinner, we tried the very popular in Facebook, it's called the Corvada. So para siyang ano, uh, karanderia. Uh, buffet style with barbecue uh, chicken pork and beef and fish so kailangan mo siyang kailangan mo um order and then they will put it on a plate and then after that before you start eating you take a picture of it kasi yun yung basis nila for charging you later on Okay naman yung food nila actually. Uh, for the foreigners, I think it's kind of, kind of really cheap. But for us Pinoy's, it's kind of expensive the way, the way that the food is being prepared and served. Yeah. So on our second day, early in the morning, we went to boardwalk the very popular boardwalk this is the place where surfers come around uh, local surfers uh, where they teach the foreigners how to surf and all the tourists how to surf so if you want to learn how to surf for an hour they will charge you 500 pesos including the young and professional fee so that will be on the further left hand side of the boardwalk but for me, since I'm not interested to do surfing, we just enjoy the beauty and the, 
the scenery of the boardwalk. So we took a lot of pictures from here. Uh, it used to be really a lot nicer. Kailang medyo nasira na siya. Nung bagyo mo dead, no? A few years back. And they are just trying to... Still in the process of rebuilding the whole thing. For myself, I would like to spend here the whole day just to look at the view, enjoy the beach. Because it's white sand, didn't you? Although the water is mabato, but if you go down from the boardwalk itself, sa baba mayroon siyang ladder, you can really enjoy the water there. It's really, really crystal clear. Today will be land tours mostly. So this is our first itinerary. So we're almost there. May nagsa surf na, may nakikita na ako nagsa surf. Uh, that area, if you want to learn how to surf, yan. 500 pesos, kasama na doon yung surfboard, saka instructor. That area there. Now, if you are a pro, dito tayo. Dito ka na magsasurf if you are a pro. It's just beautiful. So right now is 8 o'clock in the morning, so we are already. Here we are, it's the end of the boardwalk. I am going to wave to the surface. Here comes the surfers. So, in this area from the boardwalk, you can actually go down there. May staircase, John. And then you can just enjoy the water from there. So, nilalakad lang ng mga surfers here because dyan sila nagsisimula to go to the, to the uh, surfing area. All right, after that, we traveled to the next destination, and along the way, we found this very delicious saging naginanggang with margarine and sugar. All right, and then we headed to our destination, which is the Coconut Mountain View. Yeah. Lots of coconuts. Again, it was damaged severely by the uh, Baguio Modet. It used to be a really, really thick coconut plantation. Yeah. So if you palang mga mga kana, you will definitely enjoy it. If you, especially if you are a nature lover. Here you can stay for an hour if you have the time. 
kasi nga by just looking at this you will definitely enjoy them so for myself my my own opinion I would like to stay in Chargao seven days so I can go and enjoy every day every destination so it, this is another human drone video taken by the locals here so magbigay ka lang kung magkano ibibigay mo they, were, they are all they are always Uh, thankful for what you give kasi yun lang naman ang source of income nila eh. alright after the coconut mountain view we went to uh, Tayangban Cave po. so what we did is we rented a motorcycle so we'll be able to to do it ourselves no? dalawa lang naman kami ni Mises eh. so, Tayangban Cave is a very old cave It's very dark, so meron kaming gamit dito na uh, flashlights, headlamps. Happy birthday! Ayan, no? Without it, it's very dark. Uh, may guide naman dyan. So, entrance fee is uh, 100 pesos each, and then ikaw na mahala sa tour guide. And at the end of the cave, meron siyang uh, lagoon. a swing rope swing and then meron diving uh, board so energy calling that the water here is fresh but the highlight of of this itinerary is the cave itself you're really amazed so ang galing ng tour guide kailangan And then we headed to our next destination, which is the Magpupungko Beach. So, by the entrance, meron tong local delicacy nila na tinatawag nila um, sa amin sa Bisaya. Ang tawag nito is Keeping. Uh, I think they call this one as Salvador. Yeah, I believe so. So, It's made of cassava flour and then with uh, caramel, caramelized sugar on top. So of all the beaches there in Siargao, ito yung pinaka magandang, pinaka pino ang white sand. Tapos alongside a diving restaurant in seafoods which we had lunch there. Again, I would like to stay here as much as I can, but unfortunately, we had a very limited time for some reason. So, but we had a blast. So the reason why it's called Magbupungko is on the left-hand side of the beach, meron dong stone formation. na nagpupungko means bisaya means it's like uh, n- sitting down on a uh, like a like a like a tr- like a tribe you know like a, like the the stones are formed like a person sitting down uh, on on his butt with the with the feet just in front of of it so magpupungko I I know most of you guys understood the term yeah so we did not really waited for it because it will be it will take us until about five or six before it's gonna be low tide kasi low tide lang siya eh. so ito yung mga restaurants alongside the beach they're not that expensive tsaka masarap yung mga luto nila dyan. So, this is the way where we go to Magpupungko formation, rock formation. Itong kaganda na siya gawin. It's not just the beach. It's nature as its best. And by the way, Uh, may entrance fee dito per person I believe it's 120 pesos each 
no, 130 pesos each, just for the entrance, and then uh, my parking fees, uh, motorcycle is 30 pesos. But you don't have to rent a cottage, no? You can just sit down, maglatag ng blanket sa mga buhangin. And then you get to see, to enjoy it. You get to enjoy one of the best beaches in the world. Later on, later on. So, in this area, there's a lot of spectators. They wanted to see the stone formation. But unfortunately, like I said, Antagal uh, Maglo Tide. But you can definitely enjoy the crystal clear water. Dito sa area nito. You'll see. Wow. Beautiful. And then after that, we headed to our next destination and we passed through Maasin River. So that's a good thing about having a motorcycle rented because you get to do a lot of things, no? Uh, you can go around the whole island. So Tito meron siyang, meron siyang bangka for rent, 500 pesos. Isang bung bangka to bring you down to the river uh, just to see the sights and scene, scenery. And then going, in, going there is already an absolute uh, scenery. And meron din dito yung, yung diving board. And again, the locals here are very helpful. They will try to assist you with photo taking. Again, yeah. yun yung diving board. The water is not as clean as the beaches around. So, hindi na kami naligo. Here, and then right outside the Maasin River, uh, there's fresh clams that we tried with just the vinegar and salt. They said that this is aphrodisiac, but it's, it's worth the try. I like it, I like raw seafoods. Delicious, really nice. The flavor, it's kind of salty and vinegary because of the vinegar. All right, and then we went home, uh, rested, and then we went out for a nightlife. So we got the whole General Antonio Luna, uh, and damning bars, and damning performances in the night. So, depende na lang kung anong hilig mo talaga, entertainment. So, we end up staying in bar 150. I believe it was the perfect bar for the night. But there are a lot of bars to enjoy and to choose. So, dito nag enjoy kami, no? Uh, one bottle of beer would cost you a hundred. Cocktails would range from 200 pesos up to 450. And spirits, 200 pesos up to 500 and more. But we just came here for the entertainment and a couple of years, but we really enjoyed it so much. Your performance in is world class. So the whole, the whole place was packed with foreigners.
It was so much fun, guys. You should try this. And I keep saying this, Chagall is just one of the best to go. And I strongly suggest for you to stay at least five days to seven days. That's it guys, uh, we're heading back to the airport for our flight back to home. And then, you know, we enjoyed so much. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and click that notification bell. Thank you so much.